Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you how to record Kika, I mean, how to download Kika Fusion. Uh, first, you go to Google. Then you go type in Kega Fusion. You go to this one, you go to the one that says Carpe Ludum or something like that. I'm not really sure. Uh, anyway, I'll put the links in the description anyway. Um, once it loads up. Then you would go download one of these, whichever system you're operating on. I'm not going to go do it because I already have Fusion installed on my machine. So, well, of course, uh, I, yeah, it's a virtual machine. Uh, anyway, I already had this installed on, a virtual, on the virtual machine, so I don't need to install it again. But that's it. And then to, uh, first, what you would do is to configure it, you would go down to, uh, you would open it up, and it would usually give you a message that would say, open this file from publisher, or whatever. You would click OK. Anyway, but I, I disabled that so it wouldn't do that. Um, what you would need to do first is you would need to go to options, go to set config. You would go need, you need to go download the Sega CD BIOS. And I'm going to show you where to get the Sega CD BIOS if the stupid Mac dock bar will stop popping up. Alright, anywho. Uh, so I'm going to show you where to get the Sega CD BIOS. Um, so, you type in Sega CD BIOS. And you want to go, it's not going to be there first, you're probably going to, yeah, here it is. So you want to go to this one right here that says fantasyanime.com. Uh, I'll, I'll put the link down in the description. But it's loading it up, so let it load up. My internet's a little bit slow for some reason. Um, but, anywho, so you go down. Yeah, this is basically a complete walkthrough of how to use Skype Fusion. So, you can, this is really helpful. I use this, it's really helpful. So, you can get, use this website. So, you go click on the Sega CD BIOS link, and it'll take you down to the part of the page where it tells you. Uh, where the, how to set up the Sega CD BIOS and all that, and loading Sega CD games, and it also gives you links to all the BIOS files for Sega CD, so the US, the European, and the Jap Japanese Sega CD BIOS. So you'll have that. Then what you would do is you would download these, and I'm not, of course, like I said, I'm not going to be showing that because I already had them installed, and I don't want to do it again. Um, you would go to Options, Set Config, and you would go hit the browse button and find wherever you downloaded them, which would usually be in the downloads folder because that's the default place. Uh, but if you said somewhere else, then you would go there. Um, and then you would hit apply and OK. And then you would go download a ROM. For instance, I'm going to go download, let's see, I'll go download, uh, I'll just go to Cool ROM and download Sonic the Hedgehog. Actually, no, I'm going to go download a, a ROM app. So it's going to... Once it loads, it's being a bit slow today. Uh, I'll go download, let's see, which one should I get? I'll just do... Uh, I'm going to type in Sonic the Hedgehog hack, and let's see what shows up, and I'll just click on a random one, I just need a hack. Uh, I'll go to this one, I don't really, I don't really know, I'll just type this one, the colorized ending hack, I'll just type this, and download it. Actually, all I have to do is just hit the download button, download it, and hit save file, and it 
it's downloading. There it is. So what you would do is you would click that little folder button. It's going to open up File Explorer. You can see there it is. So to extract it, you I don't have WinRAR. I don't want to use WinRAR. WinRAR. Uh, if you want to do it, this is how you do it in Fire, File Explorer. You would just click Extract All. And you would uh, just get rid of that folder because it's just going to make an extra folder that you don't need. Then hit Extract. And there it is. There's the bin file right there. And to permanently delete uh, with the VMware Fusion on the, uh, on a Mac, you do Command Shift Delete. Then you hit Yes. Um, so I'm gonna go load up Fusion uh, to prove to you that this works. Uh, okay. So I got Fusion open here. I'm gonna go click Load Genesis 32x ROM. And let's go to Downloads. Let's go to this, that here it is, so here's the ROM that I downloaded, ROM hack. Hit open. And as you can see, there it goes. It worked perfectly fine. Just do a little demo of it. And to stop it, either you would close the emulator, or you could just go to file and power off. Okay, so that's basically it for this tutorial. Like I said, I'll include the links that I showed you in the description, and uh, there will be more tutorials.